hi uh, the next topic is about let us discuss about the partnership the basic about the partnership is the ratio of the share of capital whatever is there the share of capital into time period gives you the ratio of the profit share so this is the basic formula that we all need to know on the same basic formula the whole concept and as well as the problems will be there so let us start the question like the first one x and y start a business with investments of given 15000 and 18000 rupees respectively in that the x share itself is given as 15000 rupees of the total profit then find the total profit earned during the year so since this is in the form of we need to talk about business business is for everywhere every uh, model of business it is for one year ten year one year is nothing but the 12 months to make it to be understandable to you i'm writing the structure over here x and y in this x has managed to business capital share of 15000 rupees each invested for 12 months and the other 18000 rupees invested for 12 months so the community is 12 and 12 and 1000 3 5s are 36 so the ratio is 5 is to 6 this is what the profit share is now the x share is 5 15000 rupees the five parts is 15000 rupees when five parts is 15000 obviously uh, the six parts definitely should be 18000 why because five 3000s so six 3000s is 18000 so is asking what is the total profit earned during the year total profit is adding both of them 15 plus 18 is 33 so what is that they earned for the whole year 33000 so that's about the first one let's see the second question model now there are three people whoever it may be three or four or five the tenure of the business is for 12 months a b and c started a business by investing 10000 15000 and 20000 rupees at the end of the year they got the profit of 18468 now they are asking what is the share of b so since the tenure is for 12 months for everyone now writing 10000 into 12 15000 into 12 and lastly 20000 into 12 so taking out the community 12 is the community or there removing the community and the thousands you have 10 is to 15 is to 20 so this is 520 Five three zero, five four zero. Now the ratio should be divided in the form of two is to three is to four. And I want what is B's ratio? B is the interim person, so it is three by two plus three is five plus four is nine. Three by ninth part of three by ninth part of eighteen thousand four hundred and sixty-eight. So we need to find out eighteen thousand four hundred and sixty-eight. So we need to find out what is eighteen thousand four hundred and sixty-eight divided by nine. So it is nine two zero nine five zero zero five again two. So two zero five two into three. So it's very clear. It is somewhere around six thousand fifty-three is one hundred and fifty and six. So six thousand one hundred and fifty-six. Therefore, what is your answer? Since, or you can also say that it is one third of eighteen thousand four hundred and sixty-eight. So eighteen four sixty-eight divided by three is six three six zero three one zero three five zero three six zero. Either of the way, we get the problem six thousand one hundred and fifty-six. Now the next model is the next question is A started a business with a capital of thirty thousand rupees and B joined him later. So you and I don't know how many months he is there. If the share of the year end of the profits equally, so. Thirty thousand rupees is what A has put in the business. So thirty thousand rupees into twelve, and B, you and I don't know how much, how many parts, did, how many months is he there with an investment of forty-five thousand rupees. Into let us assume K is equal to since the profit share is equal one is to one. We know in proportion product of extremes is equal to product of means. So taking remove the 
equality three zeros three zeros fifteen two zero and fifteen three zero using ratios now what do we have two into twelve is equal to three k so what is k is equal to three four zero so it is eight k sorry k is equal to eight so we have k is equal to eight what do you mean by that eight eight is what the number of months now the question is after how many months did b join so since the b is participating for eight months definitely b have joined after four months let's see the second question next question now the p and q invest their capitals in the ratios 3 is to 2 and the profit sharing is 5 is to 3 so the capital share is given and as well as the profit sharing is given now let us come to investment of months P has invested for 10 months so it is 3 into 10 is 2 Q we don't know how much how many months he invested let us assume it as K is equal to the profit share is 5 is to 3 5 is to 3 again it is product of extremes is equal to product of means so it is 3 into 10 into 3 is equal to 2 into k into 5 so what is 2 5 is there it's 10 so what is k is equal to 3 3 is there 9 so invested q has invested for 